Well, Stado itself started out in 1972, and then we recently rebranded to Equinor to better reflect the company that we've become. Pretty much a, one of the largest oil and gas companies in the world. We have about two million barrels a day in production of uh, all the 30 countries that we produce, and then we're growing within renewables as well. Currently, we have three operating offshore wind assets in the UK. It's Sheringham Shoal, Dudgeon, and also Highwind Scotland. Sheringham Shoal was Equinor's first entry into the UK offshore wind space. Dudgeon is uh, another exciting development for Equinor, an offshore wind. It's uh, just commissioned last year. It's one of the largest of its kind in production today. So the high wind in Scotland is a, is a world's first, which is really exciting for us. It's the world's first commercial floating wind farm. It gives 20,000 homes in the UK clean electricity, and uh, we see that the UK has a growth market for us in offshore wind. The UK has got huge you know, resource potential for offshore wind. It's a very long coastline. It's pretty blowy, as we all know, from the UK. And it really has a government that's been supporting this as a key technology in its own energy transition to move away from coal. And that's something that we see as an attractive uh, place for us to do business. Partnership's really important to us in growing in the UK. One of the key things for the Department of International Trade is it can help actually do a lot of the homework for us. So sometimes you do feel as though you're wandering in the desert when you're working on a business development. You're not sure about the suppliers that you're dealing with. You're not quite sure about the regulatory regime as well. So the Department of International Trade does a good job at doing that. It helps join the dots for, for investors, particularly back in the UK. That's been really important for us to, uh, to actually uh, get up to speed pretty quickly with new projects. Offshore wind in the UK has now become, you know, literally the, the global leader. Having an edge with the Department of International Trade is really important to make UK the home of, of global offshore wind.